another episode of the Bad Entertainment Podcast. You know what I want you to do? I want you to make me some campfire bundles. See, that's why we look like we look now on camera. <laughs> She's sitting here talking about food. We're supposed to be talking about other stuff. Michael Wells, Tammy Wells, Bad Entertainment. She has that Michigan boot shirt on. Hey, don't mess with my boys now. National champion. You know, what are we, a whole month late? When that last month? January? Campfire bundles. Why do you want... I don't know. I just have a taste for it. Anybody out there know what those are? Campfire bundles? I do. What is it? Potatoes, sausage, cabbage, green pepper and onion. Well, it's all the peppers. Green, yeah, red, and, and red. yellow. Yeah. yeah. So, ugh. You'll be eating that by yourself. That's I'm okay. not I'm not a cabbage person. That's okay. Don't like cabbage. So. Yes, you do. You eat coleslaw. Well, That's yeah, cabbage. I eat coleslaw, yeah, but You don't like I, cabbage. I don't like cooked cabbage, yeah. I'd rather like, have I don't like cooked uh, but carrots. But um cooked cabbage is in egg rolls too, right? Yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah. So see you do like cooked <laughs> Yeah, well, don't don't start with me now. <laughs> it's too early in the show to be starting. Okay. Oh, that's yours. Okay. Okay, we're going to start um, the show. We try to do little fun little topics to talk about. Like I said, I apologize if you guys see me looking down a lot. We got new microphones. I got this one. She has one on her lapel. I have a new board I'm getting used to, so I'm constantly looking down at it. So I apologize ahead of time. What the, what should we start out with? Let's start out with let's start out with the theme songs. Let's start out with something fun. Back in the day, TV show theme song. We talked about this before on our TV show with uh, Risha when we used to record our TV show at WNIT in South Bend. Those episodes are all on YouTube. This page, you guys scroll down, you'll see. If you just see our Bad Entertainment logo, that's all you see, no pictures or anything. Those are all our little TV show episodes that we recorded in an actual TV show, a TV studio in WNIT in South Bend. We talked about this before, and our beloved friend T-Swain, what up T-Swain, out there doing it big, recording stuff with Teddy Riley and everything. So... Big shout out to T-Swain, doing big things. Teddy Riley. You guys don't know who Teddy Riley is. He's um, the super duper Ooh. producer. He's produced on for Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, the guy. He invented the New Jack Swing back in the day. But anyway, we're getting off. No, that's you. So, uh, TV show theme song. We did an episode on our original TV show, and T. Swing was our DJ, and he was supposed to hit. The, the the songs every time we talked about them and he kept <laughs> I think he got stuck I think it was the Dukes of Hazard um I'm a, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to pull a clip from that and put it into this show uh, and Risha and I was talking I think I can pull a, a clip from that show and put it in this show you know we I, I think we had maybe ten back in the day theme songs from the TV shows and I what the Dukes of Hazard was one of them. The young kids of like, what the hell is he talking about? TV show theme songs, Duke, Dukes of Hazard. He kept getting stuck on that one. It was funny. I guess it's not. Why are you looking at me like because that? Because you're rambling. Okay. <laughs> you make me sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. But anyway, we're talking about back in the day theme song, TV show. What was your favorite? I don't know. What was yours? It's tough. Um, Good it's, times. It's it's a tie between what's it called the last American hero and who's the boss. Those two, I, I cannot really decide. The Jefferson. Yeah. You know you gotta pick one. So. I don't know. I'm like you. Well, we can we can name a bunch of the good ones back in the day. The Jeffersons, Good, good Times, times. Um, The Cosby Show, um, Who's the Boss. Um, the like Dukes Gilligan, of Hazzard. Like Gillig you would, <laughs> you would like the or theme song. Beverly Hillbillies. See, what? um, but they they don't do that anymore. There's no theme songs no more. Kids the nowadays don't know nothing. On the TV show, had. you know, we could since we're 
talking about us and kids and theme songs and stuff, we could just go into a Generation X conversation because that's okay. what we are. We're Gen X, you know. We're the best generation, that's you right. guys. You know, we we I think I think we had the most fun. Yeah. Because we didn't have none of this. You know, we're doing. We had to play outside. We're doing all this. You know, cameras and microphones and. We didn't know nothing about the internet unless you had be on the internet from school. There's no way if you'd have told me, what we were ten years old maybe, ten twelve, let's just say fifteen, even fifteen years old, that I'd be sitting in front of a camera one day, a microphone, doing a TV show. It's, it, it is so simple nowadays to do it. You can do it from your cell phone I miss and everything. The good old days. What, what, what do you miss about the good old days? We still ain't picked the theme song. We don't jump to Gen X. What, what? Life was so much easier. How do you? We sound like we're 110 years old. We're B57 this year. 57 years old this year, you guys. It, it was. Rent was $350. For what? What's, what's that? Well, you got to tell them what, what. For one bedroom apartment. There you go. So, oh, that that was our first apartment in um, Briarwood in Benton Harbor, Michigan. Shout out to Ben Harbor. That's home. Ben Harbor, St. Joe. No, Ben Harbor. Benton Harbor, St. Joe is home. Ben Harbor. <laughs> that's a debate we get into all the time. Because um, he's not from St. Joe. I didn't say we were from St. Joe. I'm not from St. Joe. Just say we're from Benton Harbor. Ben Harbor, St. Joe, because they're connected. That's why people say we Benton Harbor, St. Joe. We only connected by the bridge. I'm from Benton Harbor. So are you. You know what? <laughs> you know what? What the? What, what, what the what? What do we need? There was a... I'm looking at my board. There was some stuff on there. Um... But anyway, what what was so good about back in the day? You tell me. Well, I, I know, but we're supposed to banter. We're supposed to go back and forth. Family was family. Well, yeah. We don't have that nowadays. No, we still no, got it. No, no, we still no. got a little bit. No, you don't. Yeah, like, yeah. We do, but no, we don't. The society, no. They're all, it's all about internet, kids' faces in, in their phones. There's no talking. Even when our kids come over, what are we all doing? And I said, we, all on our phones. Why can't we put our phones in the middle of the table and don't Okay, touch so them? I want you to to try that experiment. Okay. And you guys, I'll do some video and pictures. We have a family dinner coming up. We try to do family dinners once a month. Um, all the family, all the kids come over, the grandbabies come over. We sit around and have dinner. Phenomenal time. Um. We got one coming up. Look like it's going to be Easter Sunday coming up soon. Um, I sent all the kids a text. You know, pick the day that you really want. Everybody's been texting back. Easter Sunday would be the best Sunday to have the next family dinner. So what I'm going to do, Miss Stang here, I'm going to get her to tell all the adult kids, put your phones down at family dinner. No one's allowed to use the phone. And we're going to see how that goes. And I'll record it without our kids knowing. And the, ap the episode after that, we'll see how that... I'm not scared of our kids. I'm not either. I'm just going to see how they that works. They say that I'm the mean one. You're the, you're the good one. So. Yeah. So. I'm the wicked witch. You're the good witch. I'm the... I'm the why, why do I got to be a witch? Why can't be a, be a warlock? You want to be an ugly warlock? Well, just oh. like um, just like um, in uh, Lat Latino language. Puta? No, not that. <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the girls are Miha. 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 And the, the guys are Miho. Well, Miho. That's just the guy kind. So, so let's see. We're going to try that experiment, you guys. And don't have to be for all day, just for dinner. And, okay, so since we're talking about back in the day, you know, there, there's a lot of people on TikTok, Gen X. We follow up, some of them. And everything they say is true. You know, back in the day taking a car trip from here to Chicago. You guys went to um, down in Florida and stuff a no. lot. Um, no. Not, no, um, um, was it? Arkansas. And didn't you say Texas? Corporal Crispy? Uh, oh, Cor yeah. Cor he had that too. <laughs> yeah. Crispy. <laughs> you went down to extra uh, original yeah. or extra crispy. Yeah. Corpus Christi. 
Yeah. With Selena, she, she was from down there. I, I don't know, okay, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, driving down there from Benton Harbor, Michigan, there was no seatbelt. No. We drove all the way. <laughs> I, used to, I used to lay in the back of the car. Let the sun hit me, and Dad, if Dad had to put out his okay. brakes. So the back of the car, you're not explaining that good for the people. What do you mean? In the back window. There you go. See, the back of the oh, car is just the back, back of the seat. <laughs> in the back window. You, Laying in the back window. When we were younger. <laughs> no fear. When we were younger, the things we did. She's laying in the back window of a car from Benton Harbor, Michigan to Texas. No seatbelt. Nobody got any seatbelts on or anything. Back in the day, if your parents smoked, the window's up. Yep. All the smoke in the car. <laughs> you got cancer within the first five miles of the trip. Um, and your dad slammed down his brakes for hard. You'd be on the That was fun. A ride in the back of a uh, truck. That was a fun. Pickup truck and the wheel well. Oh my God! It bumped your like this. That could bump and fall right off into the damn road. <laughs> no, fear. no fear. back in the day. See, they were memories though. We didn't. Um, we didn't wear helmets either when we rode That's our bikes. That's why kids are pansies nowadays. We didn't, we didn't wear helmets when no. we rode our bikes. Nowadays, you see kids all look like, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what. All bundled up and everything. Yeah. Um, uh, elbow pads, knee yeah. pads, helmets. Let your kids experience getting hurt one time. Let your kids eat dirt one time. What else did we do all the time? I mean, oh, man, the the playgrounds, the school. Yeah, everything the, the metal slide, burn your butt all the way down. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember we worked at Tolson here in Elkhart. Oh they got a new Tolson center. Um, it's a community center for the kids and everything. And um, I remember the very first time I went on the playground out there, my feet, I'm bouncing up and down. I'm like, what am I walking on? Yeah. It looked like asphalt, but it's, you know, so if the kids fall, they don't break anything. We had We rocks. didn't have that. Yeah. Yeah, we had rocks and stuff on the playground. Coming and down that 125 degree slide. <laughs> Speaking of rocks and falling and stuff on my, I have a scar. Yep. I have a scar right here on yep. my shoulder because of this one right here. I was going to see her mm -hmm. and I was riding my bike because we, we had our bikes or we walked back then. That Ooh, was the we option. Walked. Uh, we've walked some distance and I'm riding my bike to see her and you know how you're riding your bike and everything. And once in a while you stand up and go faster than you sit back down on your seat and everything. I don't know what happened. I stood up, you know, just to pedal my bike, and I hit some gravel or something. You hit some dirt. And, man, boom, I went down. And my shoulder, it was my shoulder my knee, right? And I thought it was your elbow. Yeah, elbow, too. Yeah. Right there. Yep. And um, I had to call my sister Maddie, rest in peace. I had to call my sister Maddie to come pick me up from your house. She had to take me to the ER. It was so bad. Yeah. That was that. That was not a That was not a good day, but... It would have been. Family show. I said it would have been. <laughs> I, didn't say, I didn't say nothing. I just said it would have been. Family show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, another famous thing uh, the Gen X generation did, our generation did, um, people always talk about we were just outside for hours and hours. We we never went inside. We That's all we had was outside. We went in to eat and to, or go to the bathroom. Yeah, so we never had inside. Outside was important. Like the kids nowadays, your phone, your tablets, your laptop, how that is so important to you. We take that away from you. Like Kevin Hart said, his son turned into a crackhead. He took a, don't, daddy, don't do that to me, daddy. You know, so. They need, they need him. <laughs> you know, so. You took away outside from us back in the day. That hurt. Because that's all we had. You it know. really hurt me. I'd stay in my room. You know, so we were always outside. We rush home, get our school clothes off, and then outside, I mean, basketball, football, ride baseball, bike. riding your bike, you know, all that stuff. And uh, one thing the Gen X generation famously talk about is drinking water out the water hose. Because, again, once you went outside, there's no going back in the house. Well, they were, I could go in the house anytime. Well, you, you, you that's white, white family, yeah. <laughs> 
the, the black family, you take your black ass outside, don't you come back in here till the street lights come on. You know, so the water hose, man. I still drink out the water hose. Though. That 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 was some good water back in the day. So, you know, okay, we got to take a break. We've been talking for over 15 minutes right now. That's so okay. we got to take a break right now. We're going to take a break. I'm going to try to find that episode of us talking about, since we really didn't talk about, the subject was theme shows from back in the day that we liked, the TV songs. Um, on the theme shows, on the TV show theme song, we really didn't talk about it. <laughs> we talked about it in a show years and years Sorry, ago. Folks, he just rattled. I'm going to see if I can find that. And I think if hopefully if YouTube don't spank us, um, we can, no, after, after we come back from a break, uh, we might be able to play some TV show theme songs. I don't know. So we'll try. Okay, you guys, we're, we'll be right back after this. <laughs> conversation from this one right here okay um we saw like i said we watched the today show a lot the talk um uh, access hollywood stuff like that pretty pretty cool conversation they had a conversation that's uh really touchy nowadays back in the day since we're talking about back in the day back in the day it wasn't all the conversation today is the conversation because it's time things change um should you have the right to discipline someone else's kid if that kid is causing harm to your kid. And the parents are there and the parents aren't doing anything. So that, that there was a thing, I can't even remember the story fully, but it went something to the effect of um, there were some kids at a party, this one kid was being a bully, um, he was not really bad physical harm, but he was not being nice to the kids and picking and stuff like that, and the parents are right there, so the parents are not doing anything. Do we have a right as parents to say, hey, cut the crap while the other parents are there not doing anything? Can I answer? Yeah. That's I ain't the... scared to whoop a child. Okay, Rhonda Gibson Willis. No, I'm not. If they're harming my baby, my grandson or my granddaughters, I will beat their ass. I'm sorry. Let the parents say something to me. I'll go on them. And see... That's when our TV show will end because one of us will be in jail. Because, and like I said, it's... It, it, no, I'm sorry. You harm our grandchildren? Yeah, that's that's a hot button I'm with me. I'm sorry. Especially being that's a, bullying. That's a hot button with me, too. So, yeah, you don't want to... But this this subject is so... Because parents, you can't talk to parents nowadays. No, because they're 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 different. I mean, there's... And, and I'm old school. There's different ways. I mean, yeah, see, back in the day, for those of you who don't know, and those of you who do know, we'll get some amen out there, and we'll get some man. We didn't know that from back in the day. You know, that old saying, it takes a village, that, that that's really back in the day. You could get disciplined at school. Mm -hmm. You could even get a paddle 
school. At school. Get your butt whooped at home. You know, and then there was a phone call home. The parents are at home. There's a voicemail. When they get home, you're going to get a spanking. If your mom was really cool with the people next door, one of her buddies or something, or something like that, like my mom was, that was another contact number. So if the school called there, now mom's buddy going to whoop your butt. By the time they and were then the when day, you get home, you'd rather be in bed. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, we don't, that's, that's, that's not. Um, there's, let, let one of our grandkids call us. There's, there's new ways of discipline. And you and I even learn. Yeah, there's new ways of discipline, but their parents don't discipline. Them. We, um, That's why they're like that. We went through some. We had a job. I'm not going to say the name of the company. Right. We had a job, and we um, some of the qualifications, we had to go through some Michigan um, counseling and um, kid counseling and stuff like that. It was actually pretty cool, the, the stuff we learned to, to, to discipline kids nowadays, but we didn't grow up that way. You know, so, but one thing we did learn, kids nowadays respond to that type of discipline better than the old school Some. discipline. It all depends on the kid. Some kids. You know, it all depends on the kid. So, so back to that subject, and this came up with our adult dance team, believe it or not. Our dance team, you guys see all these videos on YouTube of the dance team, and they won national titles and all that. They were teenagers. Well, when we started it, it was adults. It was all of us and all of our friends. And, man, I was on their butts all the time. Man, sometimes I get right here to their face, and I was always on my dancers, but they killed it. I mean, people used to come out to the nightclubs just to watch us dance, and they'd go home when we were done. So we were like itty-bitty local famous around here, you know, but that was the discipline and the dance rehearsals because I was in their butts. Then the dance team switched over to teenagers, and we had 52 dancers at one time, teenage dancers. And my adult dancers were helping me run the company. And they were always like, why are you so nice to the, to the kids and you, you were so mean to us? Because I don't want them parents coming in here jacking me up. You just can't be in all the kids. Some parents are like we used to be, old school discipline. Some parents are like, don't you be yelling at my damn kids. But the kid. parents that, were, that are like us, their kids are going off college, doing good for themselves. Well, yes. I mean, there's some of the kids, too. You, you just can't put that all in one big category right. like that, you know. So, so yeah, I mean, that, that, that subject right there, you know, should you be allowed to discipline someone else's kid? Yep, if they're in my home. If they're in your home or if they're doing, you're at a, at a party. A um, birthday party or something. I would, um, if, if I'm out in public, I go up to their parent. And then if their parent don't do anything, then I'd be like, look, look. Well, just like that 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 um that thing we saw on TV, um, the lady with the with the child in Walmart in the middle of winter and all the kid had on was a ooh. diaper. And the ooh, excuse me. Um the um Walmart employee bought the kid some clothes out of her own money and then she got fired from Walmart. For doing, for doing that. that, for putting some clothes on the kid. And it was not, I don't think it was here in Indiana, but it was somewhere Indiana, Michigan-ish, where the winters are really, really bad and really, really cold. You know, so, I mean, that's that's a touchy subject with us kids and everything and discipline and everything because we're old school. She's more old school now than me because, like I said, we went through this training for this job in Michigan on how to counsel kids and everything. And one of our grandsons, I did that to him once. He was being he was being a kid. He was being what is he, five at the time, six at the time? He was he's being a six kid. Now, so they, he's they, about five. they do what they do. No, I think he was four. You know? And we were stop that, stop that, you know. And I'm like, we just went through all this training. So let me see if this training will work. So I used the training and I was talking to him how we were trained. He was nice as a butterfly the rest of the day. So it, it, it all depends on the kid and everything. Sometimes kids respond to the old school, you know, and sometimes it has to be a conversation, and then things will work out better. So, I mean, you guys write in the comments what you think, how do you think, what, what, what do you feel about that, that subject and kids and discipline and everything. You know, you can loosen up your... Your lip uh, now. I didn't know it was tight. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that's that's a that's a touchy 
That's a touchy subject with her. Okay, the next um, subject before we go to our next break. Is it four? Is it four? Look at us. We, we, we've yeah. been out of school so long. Mount Rushmore, everybody. It's four. Who's on there? Washington, Lincoln. I don't know Lincoln. who's on there. Is it Grant? I don't it's know. four of them, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it's four of them. Uh, one of the questions I heard, and I'm like, man, that is a cool question, but it's hard as hell to answer. Um, on the last episode, we are talking about comics and how good they are and everything like that. Mount Rushmore. If we were to make a Mount Rushmore a comic, and I'm talking all of them, and, and the women too. You know, we always leave out, we always talk about the men and everything. We got to talk about the women too. Just comics for period. We have to pick four for Mount Rushmore. There's no way in the hell. Be, I, I can't do it. I can't. Mine would be uh, George Carlin. Richard Pryor, Cat Williams, and Eddie Griffin. And Robin Williams. Uh, I have five. No, <laughs> you can only have four. That's an interesting. You left out some legends. I know. That's how I was like, I'm not, my head. I'm not, I'm not. Who would you that. pick? I'm, no. No, you have to pick. That's, that's, that's impossible. No, it's not. Just four? Yeah. Out of all, Robin Harris, all just four. I didn't think he was that funny. He was, he was, he was good. Oh my God, four. Uh, definitely Robin Williams, Eddie, uh, Robin Williams, Richard Pryor. Two more. And see, see all these guys' name we haven't said. Not one lady. But, but what is the funniest lady? Of all time, now, see that's a good question. You know, we have um, who do we have? Some more. Uh, right. uh, Joan Rivers. She wasn't that funny. Yes, yeah, she was. Not to me. Um, who else? Rosie O'Donnell. I mean, that's been some great female comics. I don't know, because I always we always talk. So, about do them. we have to have two Mount Rushmores? Put them side by side. One for the guy, one for the girl. Why not? Yeah. I don't know any. I'm not. I can't pick those last two. I mean, Bernie Mac. I mean, you, those. No. Four. No. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. That's too hard. That's too hard. Just like um, this one guy on TikTok. It was like two or three months. He was having this battle with the 80s and 90s slow jam. And then they made it to the finals. And I saw the finals. And I commented on his page I said you can, I've been a DJ for 40 something years there's no way I can pick which one of those I told you that, the 80s. that 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 no you guys tell me 80s R&B or 90s R&B I'm not down in 90s but 80s I can tell you the reason why yeah okay we're gonna take a break we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back one. All right, you guys. We're back. We're back. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, last episode we did something pretty cool. It's um we're reading the uh, Would You Rather um situations. They're they're pretty cool. It's a board game, and there's questions and stuff online. So this is going to be um, Tammy's little segment since I talk about all the the big issues and the questions and everything. So this is going to be her little thing. So what what is our would you rather this week? And you guys can comment in the, in the comments, too, which one you rather. Would you rather blah, blah, or blah, blah? Would you rather have the ability to be invincible, invisible or to read people's minds? Nope. I'd rather be invisible. In, they, neither one of us can say it. <laughs> Damn. Invisible? Invisible. Why? I don't want to read people's minds. That, that's a you bad... Don't want to read my especially mind? not yours. Hell no. No. <laughs> nope. Nope. I'm not doing nothing now. You don't understand me. Ooh, nah, nah. That's, that's, that's... Okay. That. To read people's minds? Yes. You don't want to know but I'd rather a be lot invisible. of times. What people are thinking. I can mess people up. And you know that's a movie. 
the book, man. No, well, both of them. Uh, what women want. Oh, yeah. Remember that thing happened to Mel Gibson? He could hear what women were thinking. Yeah, nah. Go, go to the next one. You uh, guys comment in the uh, in the comments which one would you rather? Okay. Would you rather be stuck in a romantic comedy with your worst enemy, or in a horror movie with your best friend? And I remember, I'm your best friend. Who said you're my best friend? You're my best friend. <laughs> not each other, Tammy. We can't be in there with each other. Why not? Don't 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 you have? I don't know. I don't know if I want to be in a horror movie with Johnny Ford. You'd be like me. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Or Alan. Or Alan Bridges. Ah. So you'd rather be stuck in a romantic comedy with your worst enemy, <laughs> man or woman? At my age right now. I don't really have. Now, in my 20s, I used to hold a grudge. Mm, it was unnecessary. It's just a waste of time. But mm -hmm. now we don't, I don't do that. Um, I'd rather be in a horror movie with my best friend because I'd be beating the hell out of my best friend trying to get me out of there. You don't, you won't do well in horror movies, Tammy. You are a typical white girl <laughs> when it comes oh, to getting scared. I don't like to be chased. I mean,. There's there's things I can do to her right now on camera. Oh, She'll freak out. She'll freak out and freeze. One time, <laughs> she was in our car with it on. I was still in the house. I start running towards her. She freezes and just freaks out. All she gotta do is drive away. I'm like, see, your ass was in a horror movie. It'd be over. <laughs> so. So that's a, that's that's uh I don't know. That's that's. I don't want to be in a horror movie. That's so the romantic comedy with your enemy, your worst enemy. No, let's go with the horror movie. Okay. Okay. Would you rather listen to an annoying laugh? Like I've been doing for all these years. <laughs> for a whole day or get tickled for an hour. Laugh. <laughs> I don't like being. I'd rather get tickled. If you know me, I'd be like, shut up. Like um, the episode of um, King yeah, of Queens sure. where they're playing golf. <laughs> that that every time Doug them cracked a joke, she was laughing. And Carrie cracked a joke, she wouldn't laugh. So, yeah. you People have messed up laughs get get on your nerves, don't they? Okay, this is good. Would you rather be a kid your whole life or an adult your whole life? The whole life. I know this one for me. I'd rather be a kid. No bills, no stress, have fun all day long. But then on the other hand, I wouldn't have my grandbabies. Yeah, see? That's a hard ass question. Read it again for the for the for the audience. Um, would you where am I? Okay. Would you rather be a kid your whole life or an adult your whole life? Man. I I can't wait to see some of you guys' comments on that. I don't know. That's 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 rough. That's I, I'm just, I don't know. Well, see, this next one, you should be used to. You're not going to read them all, are you? We no. need them for the next episode. No. Is this the last one? Yeah. Okay, would you rather speak in a baby voice for a day or be spoken to in a baby voice for a day? <laughs> 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 huh? Would you rather speak in a baby voice? For a day, or be spoken to in a baby voice for a day. I'd rather speak in a ba baby voice for a day. It? I'm not talking oh like that. Uh, stop it! No. <laughs> I talk like that to our grandkids, but no. Can you say to TJ? Stuggy, Stuggy, boogie, woogie, woogie, you, you woo. Be, you be doing that when he's 19, huh? Yeah, yeah. There's memes on our TikTok be, pages. Oh man, come on, dude. <laughs> there's memes on our TikTok page. Who was it? Uh, Lele? At the Tic Tac? I think it was Lele. No, Lele. I had one of them on there. Why does Papa talk to us like that? I think it was Lele. Yeah, because I do that to all of them. They're all, except for Kennedy, they're all getting too big to talk to them like that now. Kennedy? But well, when they were all babies, 
And you still and they have, love that. Yeah, they you love still that. have nicknames because you still do that to Wicky, CJ. Wicky, wicky, and wicky, you still wicky, laugh. Wicky, wicky, wicky. You still laugh. It so, was drugged to you. Babies make you do crazy things. So especially when you're a grandfather or, yep. or a grandma. Yep. We didn't do that with the kids. You so, can't stand them. You know, I love our kids. I don't. See, look at see kid see it ain't it ain't me. Oh, by the way, I got my Sean Richards the boy shirt on. He's got a CD coming out soon. Shouts out to Sean. We can try to get him on here. He's always in Elkhart every Thursday. Maybe we can get him to come to Before. Elkhart early on Thursday and come do uh do the show with us and maybe sing us a song. Uh, mark my words, he's going to be country artist of the year, new so, artist of the year yeah. soon after this CD come out and the country music people hear him. His um, song, Indiana Home, I love that song, but I can't listen to it, the lyrics. It just rip you up on the inside. Great song. Phenomenal singer. That boy is going places. So I want to thank you guys again for tuning in with our Would You Rather stuff. I want to see the comments, what you guys comment on there. So, And you guys can comment um, subjects you want us to talk about on our coming up shows and stuff like that. We're going to try to get more guest stars to come on the show. We might. Even... I know you guys hate seeing this ugly mug right here. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We're going <laughs> to... We're going to go on some locations, too. We can go to some different locations. Start shooting some episodes outside and stuff like that, too. If it's not snowing. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Michael Wells, Tammy Wells, Bad Entertainment. We see you guys next episode. Love, peace, and hair grease. to hit record. <laughs> you know, we try to stay within 10 minutes, but you know, some us talking and being goofy, our Sean, I got my Sean Richards. I was gonna put my sweatshirt on, but I figured I'd go Michigan today. Okay. <clears throat> I've got to get this closer to me. Plug with the good news that would be way. Well. Not I need really. to plug it in, or we're not going to hear ourselves. No. Mm. Hey, new microphones, new board, new system. Leave me alone. You're, yep, you're on. Okay. Are you? Yeah. See? See that? Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. And three... One. Coming in in three, two, two one. Quit now. <laughs> you know how hard it is for me to edit these videos when you do stuff like that? You just let it because flow. Because I go three, two, one, and then I pause. You and then should just let it flow. I can cut right you there. You should let it flow. I'm going to let you flow in a minute. Okay. Here we go. Coming in in three, two, one. Ugh. Problems? Yep, for all ah. these years. All these years. You ain't solved it yet? You asked me if I had problems. And you ain't solved it yet? What is it, 38 years now? And you ain't solved it yet? Uh. You wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't. Can, can we come back? Yeah. Okay, we're coming back. And stop. We're coming in in three, two, three. <laughs> Is that what that? <laughs> All right, Steven Spielberg. <coughs> Coming in in three, two.